kind of things ever get so far? I don't know. We're so unfortunate, so unnecessary. The guy who lost the son, I lost the son. We're quits. And if the tally agrees, then I'm willing to let things go on the way they were before. We are all grateful to Don Corleone for calling this meeting. We all know him as a man of his word. A modest man. He'll always listen to reason. Yes, Don Barzini. He's too modest. He had all the judges and politicians in his pocket. He refused to share them. When, when did I ever refuse an accommodation? All of you know me here. Yeah? When did I ever refuse? Except one time. And why? Because I believe this drug business is going to destroy us in the years to come. I mean, it's not like gambling or liquor, or even women, which is something that most people want nowadays, and it's to forbidden them by the Pets and Avanti of the church. Even the police departments that have helped us in the past with gambling and other things are going to refuse to help us when it comes to narcotics. And I believed that then, and I believe that now. Times have changed. It's not like the old days where we can do anything we want. A refusal is not the act of a friend. If Don Corleone had all the judges and the politicians in New York, then he must share them. All he loved is use them. He must let us draw the water from the well. Certainly he can present a bill for such services. After all, we are not communists. <laughs> Joy.